Third item on the agenda is the City of Valdosta case, VA 2013-14 from the Valdosta Lounge Industrial Authority request to rezone 27.85 acres from EA to M1. Yes, thank you, Madam Chairman. Um, just as a reminder, in case there's someone here in the audience for item number three, which was the City of Hayhara case, that has been withdrawn by the applicants. There will be no action taken. Um, we were simply noted in our minutes um, that it was listed on the agenda and it has been withdrawn. It was advertised for tonight and in our City Council. Item number four, um, actually items four and five, are two requests by the same applicant affecting the same property. One is an annexation, the other one is a rezoning. Um, pursuant to state law, we have to act on the rezoning first before we take action on the annexation, which to some of us seems like the backwards way of doing it. Um, there's different schools of thought, not everyone's in agreement, but state law is what it is. Um, so therefore, number four is the rezoning request to rezone to uh, 27.85 acres from the county's estate agricultural zoning to the city's wholesale light industrial zoning, it was going from EA to M1. Property is located at 1253 New Stateville Highway. This is on the southeastern part of the city. It's approximately 1,200 feet east of the Clay Road intersection. Um, I do not have the PowerPoint with me to show you the maps on the screen, but the maps in your packet are still valid. This is a fairly straightforward case. Um, character area is currently suburban area. Um, the request for after annexation is to change that to industrial activity center. Um, we talked about this at length at the work session. Immediately to the south and west is the Miller Business Park. Um, which was annexed and rezoned by the Industrial Authority a few years ago. The proposal is simply to add some acreage um, to the Industrial Park, even though it's 27 acres, only makes up about 7.5% of the land area by comparison. So it's a relatively minor addition, but as you look at those maps, it sort of rounds out the geography and makes more of a compact shape. Um, the purpose is to create a little more depth in what may become future parcels on the eastern part of Miller Industrial Park. Um, in terms of development, it's of course an expansion of a already planned and developing industrial area, uh, business park, so it's light industrial, maybe commercial type uses. Um, so staff has reviewed this. Um, we found it consistent with the comprehensive plan, Santa Fe exercise of zoning power, uh, pursuant to state law, notification was sent to Lowndes County. That was reviewed by the county commission. We did a half ago? Last week. Last week, okay. And no objections were raised under the annexation statutes. And so therefore, we're all recommending approval. Okay, are there any questions for the staff? Okay, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application? Please come to the podium. My name is Clayton Milligan. I'm with Global Engineering at 3998 in Perimeter Road. I'm representing the Wadawka Lounge County Industrial Authority and uh, Matt pretty much presented everything uh, that the Industrial Authority is looking to do here. Like he said, it's kind of a residual track when you look at the whole piece and this kind of finishes out um, what would be bounded by New Statenville Highway on the north of the Miller Business Park. So we're, we're just looking to kind of bring this back in so that it can be developed for the rest of the business park. I'd be happy to answer any other questions anyone would have regarding this. Do we have any questions for the presenter? Uh, Chairman, we, these are two different items. Um, we presented them sort of as ones and they have the same kinds of issues. It would be prudent to vote on them separately in terms of recommendation. Um, I would like to add one other comment. I did receive a phone call this afternoon from a member of the Deloach family, which is probably to the northeast of this. Um, they are requesting some type of buffering along the Stateville Highway frontage. Um, which sometimes can be used as a condition of zoning approval. Um, staff is very flexible on that. Uh, one of the concerns is the industrial authority is just that it's a governmental authority. They are exempt from local land development regulations. So regardless of the zoning, regardless of whether it's city or county, the industrial authority is not bound by development rules. Um, so we could put a condition on there. I think they would in good faith try to follow something like that, but they're not bound by it. That being the case, it's almost a moot point, um, but it might be worthy of some discussion. 
Um, they, I do not believe, have gotten as far as site design for that area of the park. They're not sure what the end users will be. Um, they're wanting some flexibility in terms of access to the road, but I do think they may be in, in favor of some type of buffering or separation. But they can speak to those details. And is, is there a residence across the street? There is a, if you look at the aerial, and you look at the property going, of course you have the subject property, the immediately north, is property owned by the same current owner. There's a residence there. But the properties to the east, as you go down State Patrol Highway, that's the Deloach family. And it was one of them that contacted me this afternoon. That's directly adjacent to the... Directly, immediately east and northeast of the property. When you say northeast, are you talking about the little uh, carved out area that's sort of left out? Or are you talking across the street? From the across the street and to the east. Um, okay. Large acreage tracts of land. And I'm talking about this area right here, it's got this black line that runs down it. I'm talking about the areas on the edge of the map. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure. completely to the east on both sides of State Diagonally across the street from Correct. The street. Diagonally across or directly east. What are some of the current buffers on the middle park right now along State uh, along the highway? Well, yeah. so right now there are no I guess additional buffers on the property that's along State Highway. The normal city code would govern the parking landscape buffers <coughs> that are already in place. How about the eastern uh, borderline between the industrial park property and the eastern right. the, There would be transitional buffers, Matt, correct me if I'm wrong, that would come into play that are already part of the city code that would buffer that eastern property line. And you already have a <coughs> drainage way, with presumably wetland there, um, not the developed portion of the site, so there's already a separation. I think the concern was the State Hill Highway frontage. And I would like to, I think somebody mentioned the house that's directly across the road is um, owned by the whole family. But they're the ones that are selling the track to the industrial authority. And as far as I know, they, they've not voiced any concerns about uh, additional buffers that were already in place with the current code. And again, what was in that little notch area? That is a small notch owned by the Lowell County Board of Commissioners. Oh, okay, yeah. And I'm not sure what it's actually used for, but Lowell County actually owns that. Do we have any other questions for the presenter? Anything else to note? Thank you. Okay, is there any other person in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this application, please come to the podium. Is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in opposition of this application? Please come to the podium. For discussion from the commission. <coughs> nothing specific required. I mean, the city's transitional buffer requirements do not apply to road frontage. It has to only applies to abutting properties. Um, I mean, staff is not overly concerned about it. If we have conference and just authorities going to do it right design. And we had talked uh, with them in the very beginning about doing something along the road to separate industrial uses. So in other words, State of Ohio Highway does not become overtly an industrial port that you do not see warehouses and stuff right on top of there would be some separation. And they are very open and amenable to that. Um, they were just concerned that uh, an end user of this part of the park might want sort of a rear driveway access out onto New State Mill Highway, perhaps even for emergency vehicles. Um, so they're concerned about tying their hands that way, and I would not want them to tie their hands that much because we do not know who the end users might be. Um, I think 
Mr. Deloach is planning to submit a letter expressing his concerns in more detail. And I told him I would forward that on to the City Council. Um, he could not go into specifics with me over the phone, just a general concern about buffering along the road. I think for some of the same reasons that I also was concerned about. Um, and I do, I'm confident we can work on something with the industrial authority when the time comes. I can see the concern, the fact that the character of that was a suburban area right across the street with an industrial area, so mm -hmm. clearly there ought to be some transitional elements between the, the two groups. Correct. I and, see the concern. Right. And we have the M1 zoning where Miller Park already touches the State of Highway, that's sort of their north entrance. And that ought to be just that, the north entrance. It's just to add on, you know, another thousand feet or so of frontage. You know, I just wonder if that's necessary in terms of frontage and visibility. Any other discussion from the commission? If not, I will entertain the motion. Madam Chairman, I make a motion that we approve BA 2013-13 rezoning uh, this property from agricultural to uh, wholesale light industrial and more. We have a motion by Paul. Do I have a second? Second. Second <clears throat> by Wow. All in favor of the motion, please indicate by raising your hand. Motion carries and approved unanimously. Okay. The fourth item 